as someone said earlier, winning, yeah, that's how it all starts. The adrenaline rush, the buzz, what it gives you, how you feel, excited when you win your first bet, yeah? Then you go on to the losing stage. And the losing stage is when eventually you'll start chasing your, what we call chasing your losses. And that will just spiral and spiral and you accumulate debt after debt after debt. And so then you're on a downward spiral, yeah? And that will affect you mentally as well. And so you get to a desperation stage. And for some, that's the point where you seriously need help. Uh, one of the things I didn't do was seek help until it was too late, until I lost, until I lost everything. Uh, so we always say to people, it's really important when you're going through a gambling disorder and it's affecting your mental health, and there comes a point where you have to seek help uh, because you do need professional help to come out of this, this addiction. And for some, unfortunately, as I said earlier, you get to the stage where you've lost everything, you've lost your friends, you may be bankrupt, you've lost all your money, you've lost your house like I did, so everything's gone. Then there's the guilt and the shame that comes into play, and then unfortunately for some, uh, which, as I said, is evidently out there and proven for some it's the end of the road and they can't handle that and uh, afford to take their lives. So that's when you get to the hopelessness stage. So here, as is just an example, 25-year-old gambler committed suicide and lost 119,000 in five days prior to his death. He, had been he has been real. Chris Bruni, I've met the family, was an exclusive VIP. VIP is someone that's with an operator and they shower him with gifts and free bets and holidays and days, tickets for the football match, etc. That's what a VIP is. Um, which tempted him with four and a half grand in cash bonuses shortly before his death, despite the amount of money he was losing. So as I said, the operator knows your data, knows what you're losing, but they're still throwing money at him. In, in his suicide note, Bruni said it was the gambling that he couldn't go through anymore. A coroner ruled that he had died in part from the shame of gambling. And that's what I said, it's, it's when, it, when the guilt and shame come to the bay, it can be very, very, very difficult. So there are estimated two gambling-related suicides per day in Great Britain. One in five problem gamblers had thoughts about suicide in the past year. One in 20 problem gamblers had made a suicide attempt in the past year. Who's, who's this on the left? Anybody? From the chase? So as I said, anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, your background. He has been hiding his gambling addiction for a while, so I'm sure many of you won't know that. The chase star, Paul Cinnamon, has opened up about a secret gambling addiction that he says say it's lasted for 15 years. So anybody and everybody. As Paul Merson says at the end there, the former Arsenal England midfielder has battled problems with drugs and alcohol, but told Susanna Reid and Pierce Morgan that he's con he considers his gambling addiction to be the worst. So it just shows you, again, the different types of people that can get, get involved in gambling. What more can be done? Should gambling be banned? More education awareness, intervention, regulation, government, signposting for support. So I'll ask you guys, does anybody in this room think that gambling should be banned? Can anybody say why they shouldn't? Anybody? Why it shouldn't be banned? Anyone? Any reason why gambling shouldn't be banned? Just people just do it illegally if they get it, if they ban it. <laughs> that's no, no, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good point because that's what uh, when we talk about regulation changes, made it hard, harder for people to gamble. As you said, people will go underground. There will be illegal gambling. Yeah, so yeah, it's a good point. But as I said earlier, thousands and thousands and thousands of people in the UK gamble responsibly, never an issue, won't encounter any gambling harm, enjoy it for fun, socially, friends, family, nights out, days out. Um, so yeah, of course it shouldn't be banned and it's part of our culture. But the main thing is to make sure that we raise awareness, as we have done today with you guys, to so you tell you what gambling addiction looks like and what could happen if you do get involved in gambling and how it can spiral out of control. Okay, so we quickly finish with the road to recovery. So here you have different, there's different ways uh, you can protect yourself. You have GamStop, uh, where you can ban gambling apps on your phone. Uh, you've got up here, you've got Casinos Sense, which is administered, operated by the National Casino Forum, where you can ban yourself land-based land, land uh, casinos. And then you have the bookmakers, betting shops, Multi-operator self-exclusion self scheme, so you can ban yourself from bookmakers, and that can be in the area or it can be nationally. So there are things you can do individually for yourself in terms of self-regulation if you really, really want to stop gambling or you don't want gambling to become a problem. Yeah, so I wouldn't, my opinion, I wouldn't rely on the operators to protect you because as I said before, it's a profit-making business and they want your money. So it's definitely important to put your own prevention tools in place and also uh, to seek professional help if it starts to become a problem. 
And this is what I mean, there's lots of support out there. These slides will be sent to your teacher, uh, the slides in terms of the recovery toolkit, so you'll have access to them. If you or a family member or friend is struggling with gambling, these are all the support services that are out there. And these are online, online support services, particularly for parents. Uh, so there's lots of online support here where you can learn about parental controls and learn about the virtual gaming, etc. So, come to the end. Any questions?